Dion von Furstenberg has helped shape women's fashion for more than four decades now. Four decades. The iconic designer is known for creating the wrap dress in the 1970s. Nora's got the 2019 version on today. It's still it's going strong. It's a reissue, as she says. She empowers women through both her designs and philanthropy. This year marks the 10th anniversary of the DBF Awards. The annual ceremony will be held this week. It honors trailblazing women who use their influence and their resources to transform the lives of other women. Dion joins us at the table. Welcome back. Welcome yeah. back. Welcome. Who, who are you wearing today? <laughs> we're all wearing an I am too. I'm wearing DVF we're too. All, we're it's all classic. Fierce. It's a yes. classic. But this is what's so interesting. Ten years and going strong. Congratulations to you Thank on ten. You. But I read, Dion, that you said when you first did it ten years ago, you were reluctant to put your name on it because you didn't think it had the prestige or the gravitas to put your name on this. Well, my son said, well, you know, you do so much for women and we should use our foundation yeah. to do an award so we, we can give money and you can give exposure. But it's very intimidating to just out of the blue say, <laughs> okay, I'm creating an award with my name. Yes. So, uh, you know, and so I took advantage of the beginning of the Women in the World Conference yeah. that I start, you know I, you know, I was invited to start with, with Tina. And so I thought, okay, we will do that on the second on night. On the second night mm -hmm. with Tina Brown. So let's talk about the Lifetime Achievement Award. This year is going to Anita Hill. Yes. Yeah. Why Anita? Why Anita? Uh, Anita is, you know, such a trailblazer. I mean, she is such a role model. I mean, her courage, her her courage, how she could look at those men in the eyes, you know, and just mention the word penis and yes. word and 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 not. I mean, she is remarkable. And not stuttered. Presented by Gloria Steinem. Presented by Gloria yeah, I like Steinem. That and so they're both very happy about doing that together. And for me, it's an honor to have those two women at the same time. They really are a role model mm -hmm. because the mission of the award is to honor extraordinary women who have the strength to fight, the courage to survive, and the leadership to to inspire. Gianna, as somebody who had to fight through that herself to be successful, how has, in the 10 years since the award has been around, how do you think it's changed for women in America? Oh, you know, we go on the pendulum. I am part of the generation that I'm a feminist. You know, I. I, I grew up with Gloria Steinem, so I'm a feminist with as many M as possible. Mm -hmm. Then I guess that my daughter's generation, they kind of took it for granted. But now that I see my granddaughters, they are bad asses. They're not going to take anything. <laughs> yes. So I think this is a good time, <clears throat> but I think we cannot let it go by. We have to seize it because the 21st century is the century for women if we want to save the world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you talk about your granddaughters, and I, I think we should talk about the Me Too movement for a second, because I think it's been very good and very helpful. But I also think, do you, or do you think, that there needs to be room for redemption and reconciliation for these men? Well, that's my husband says that. He said, you know, <laughs> yeah. we should have very one diller. big reconciliation yes. where all men say, we admit, and then start <laughs> over, which is a totally fine idea. Um, it's just like, of course, there's always collateral damage. Yes. Of course, there are people who exaggerate. But the truth is that we can no longer be treated like meat. Yeah. And people and men sometimes think that they think it's a compliment mm -hmm. that they behave mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I am, I am all me too. There are so many truths that you speak to. Dion, which is the most important relationship you have is with yourself, yourself first, too, which you're known for. You've also said you think of aging as an acquisition, not a loss. I love that. How do you that. suggest that women embrace getting older? Well, first of all, I'm 72, okay, and proud to say it. Born on New Year's Eve. Born on New Year's <laughs> Eve. I like that birthday. So the truth is I live so fully, I should be twice my age. <laughs> and the point is that Age means that you exist. It means you have lived it. So to hide your age means that you're hiding part of who you are. I mean, uh, mm -hmm. yes, you're not, you don't have the same assets you have at 20, 
but you have a lot more assets of a lot of other things. Yeah, nothing we got to go, but we should experience and wisdom. We, we should, should mention power. We should mention Katy Perry you're honoring Nadia yes. Murad, of course, the Nobel Peace Prize winner, as well as others. That's later this week. Thank you. Thank you DBF. so much, Mohammed. Thank DBF. you. Did we mention it's the 10th anniversary? Yeah. You're doing something right. Yeah. We'll be right back.